Today I will be attempting to connect three monitors to my laptop which you can see over here and I will be making use of this docking station so this docking station is a Dell WD19TB as you can see it has an input of uh, 19.5 volts and uh, if you take a look on the back side here you can see that it has two display ports one over here and another on this side over here and it has a HDMI port over there it has a USB type C it has two USB 3.0 ports over here this is the RJ45 port here this is the power that powers this Dell WD19 TV and uh, it has this Thunderbolt C display port okay that's on the back side and uh, this is like the power that's like the power and uh, on the front side we have uh, this should be the audio out this is like a USB type C port and we have another sorry I, I mean this is a USB 3.0 port and we have a USB type C over here okay so uh, this is the connector this is the part that connects to the laptop so this is actually a USB type C Thunderbolt as you can see so you could use this to charge as well as uh, receive the display from the laptop to the monitors okay and uh, this Dell WD 19 TB it actually uses this power adapter is a 130 watts power adapter okay so I happen to have three monitors over here I have uh, two monitors which are a bit newer and one monitor over here which is a bit older I'll be plugging in all the cables into this docking station and uh, I will come back to show you guys how I have connected this up how Comparing Dell WD15, which I reviewed in an earlier video, to Dell WD19, which I will be using today, you will notice that the Dell WD19 has more ports. So, an advantage of the Dell WD15 it, that is that it has this uh, VGA port, which the Dell WD19 does not have. But if you look at the number of ports and the number of connections you're able to make, you will discover that the Dell WD19 actually has more ports to support more connections, okay? So, you could just like take a look and uh, see the difference between both of them. This is what the Dell WD19 and 15 look like on the back side. And uh, if you look at on the front side, you can see this is the Dell WD19 up here and this is the Dell WD15 okay so I'll be making use of the Dell WD19 today and I'll be using this to enable me set up three monitors I've just finished setting up the connection so I'll take you through how each of the cables are connected so I've connected from the docking station, the WD19 TV, I've connected from this to the laptop. And uh, over here on the docking station, this is the power. And on the back, this is the HDMI. It goes from here, the HDMI, to the back of the monitor over there this is the display port over here we have the display port so this cable is a display port to hdmi so the display port goes in here on the wd19 and it
comes over here that is the HDMI so that is display to HDMI and then over here we have another display port so it comes from here it's a display port cable to VGA so that goes over here for the older monitor to make this setup the way I intend it to be I got a keyboard over here and a wireless mouse which I have connected to the WD-19 so over here we have like the two USB ports I've connected the keyboard over there and the wireless mouse adapter so I'll be turning on each of the displays to see so here I go I turn on the first display I turn on the second display and I turn on the third display okay and I'll be putting down the key I'll be closing the laptop so that we just like work on the three displays okay so if upon closing the laptop you can see all three displays are showing all three displays are displaying so I need to make this display in the center my main display to do that I'm gonna be right clicking I'll be right clicking on it I right click and I come here to display settings so under the display settings you it shows us which of the display is which so I click on identify to identify which display is which so this is display 3 this is 1 and this is 2 okay so I want this center display to be my main display okay so all I need to do is adjust this and I put this in the center over here and I click on apply and I come here in the settings I click on make this my main display so this now is my main display the, cent the central display is actually my main display and the other two displays are actually the supporting displays okay so uh, that's it for now if you have any questions you could let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching